ready to PPW High Voltage. Phil Bravado, Paul Bow, and EJ Kuiper again with you. Thank you for joining us wherever you're listening to this or watching this. Guys, to start off, we're starting off hot. Deshaun Pratt and Bro Keller here to open up tonight's action. Well, it doesn't get any hotter than that. The pride and joy of Cockeysville, Maryland. All-American athlete Bro Keller taking on the Prince of Camden, Deshaun Pratt. And this should be a good one here, Phil. Oh, absolutely. There's going to be a lot of speed from Bro Keller. There's going to be a lot of experience from Deshaun Pratt. EJ, what do you think here tonight? Both these men are looking for a big W here in PPW. Deshaun Pratt, he's been in some high-profile matches here at PPW over the past few months, really looking to get that big win still, though. Bro Keller, same deal, really trying to establish a name for himself here, really, because he just came here over the past few months. Big things ahead for both these men. I can't believe this is what we're starting out with. This could be a main event anywhere in the country, Bravado. All right, here we go, collar and elbow tie up. Both men jockeying for position. Rear waist lock by Camden, the Prince of Camden, and Keller turns it into the arm bar, right to the wrist lock. A lot of times you'll see these wrist locks, EJ. Wherever the body goes, the wrist is sure to follow. Absolutely, look at that. Pratt the steps right through, and now right back into a wrist lock of his own. They're just feeling each other out now, Paul Bo. Just seeing how well each each other has their fundamentals down. Keller winds it up. You can see going to those textbook to the hammer maneuvers. lock, right? Yeah, absolutely. Just looking for the weakness in their opponent now. Big side headlock and a takeover by Pratt. Pratt's trying to wrench it in there, and you can see he's putting all his weight on the neck of Bro Keller, kind of contorting the body. There's only so much, so long you could actually stay in that position before you start to lose consciousness. And some lower core strength by Keller as he bridges out into the scissors lock there. Kind of a head scissors, EJ, right? Deshaun Pratt just cannot get out of the hold of Bro Keller. What are we seeing here? Hopping his way out of it, the Prince of Camden has a smile. <laughs> Bro Keller, Keller wasn't Keller. sure what to make of that. Hey, whatever works, works, right? You know, both of these guys starting 2020, a big match for both of them. Bro Keller gaining a lot of speed, or steam, how shall I say, here going into 2020. They also have Deshaun Pratt coming back from an injury, trying to reestablish himself as the top uh, competitor here in PPW. Big, big match for both men. Big little amateur background of Bro Keller into that front face lock. He is keeping Deshaun Pratt on that match. Well, you got to keep him grounded. You got to keep Deshaun Pratt grounded. Thus, you got to keep Bro Keller grounded also. Pratt rolls him over, and you can see a little bit of amateur background also for Deshaun Pratt. Looks like Pratt's going to answer him down there. He's going move for move here with Bro Keller. Even a bit of uh, mockery there on the part of Deshaun Pratt. Not surprising. Pratt, a three-year letterman at Monmouth University, part of the wrestling team there. Back to square one here. Bro Keller looked like he was trying to go for the Greco-Roman knuckle lock. A test of strength. Lock up high. We'll see if it's a clean test here, EJ. So we're saying classic Greco-Roman wrestling on display in this matchup here. Pratt trying to turn the wrist down, and Keller turns the wrist the other way. Guys, my eyes go to the Kinesio tape on the back of Bro Keller. You have to wonder if the back is 100%. I know he had a couple grueling matches last weekend in the independent wrestling circuit. We're going to have to see how that back holds up tonight, if it is a problem, and if it is, if Deshaun Platt Pratt wants to exploit it here tonight. Well, Pratt, a student of the game, I'm being sure that he saw that Kinesis tape as soon as he walked in to that squared circle. And now both men up to the standing vertical base again. Just like to point out in this day and age of high spots and flippity flops, it's refreshing to see two men actually grappling in a wrestling ring. Down goes Keller, big leapfrog. Pratt rolls through, sends him for the ride again. Beautiful Mexican head Look scissor takeover by the Prince of Camden. You know what? And the speed limit just increased in this matchup, Paul Bo. Look at this, Keller plants, oh no, Keller. Look at 
Bad. Camden put his hands down to Prince of Canada, put his hands down on the mat. What a way to start our show here. Mile a minute action. And, and Phil, to tap onto what you said there, both men mirroring each other's moves. You know they watched a lot of tape of each other. There's a drop down. Roll through Brian Deshaun. Beautiful drop kick. Hit him right in the ribs. That's a broken rib right and there. And you notice he went low on Pratt. Or excuse me, on Keller. He didn't go up high. He went lower. The injured core of Bro Keller was a target. You know, talent can take you so far, but preparation will win you championships. Both of these men prepare better, as you just said, Paul pointed out, better than anybody on the roster. That's why both of them are towards the top of the PPW ladder. Just ag agility and speed can get you so far, you gotta be able to put it together. And as EJ said, they're using technical moves. Just another way to show that these guys are really well-rounded here tonight. Flying elbow right to the back of the neck of Keller by Pratt. Pratt now in control of this matchup, EJ. You know what, there's a lot more than stake than just a victory here. Both these men trying to establish themselves in the heavyweight title picture, and a win here is a big deal tonight. Well, let's face it, Clutch Adams has a bullseye on his back no matter who it is. And don't forget, Deshaun Pratt still has that briefcase that is good for one year. Absolutely. Keller very good with his ring awareness there. He knew exactly where he was going in that 18 by 18 ring. A lot of rings are 16 by 16, a lot are 20 by 20. Keller knew where he was at the right place and he grabbed those newly fresh taped ropes at the PPW ring. They are looking fresh. Those ropes are looking fresh, Paul. Oh, Paul Bo, tell him where he's gonna be spending his summer after that one. Well, he'll be spending the rest of the winter at Camp Chippatoot there, floats over, north-south cover, and a kick out, first pinfall attempt in this match by Pratt. Wow, that was, the power on that sidekick was unbelievable. You could see the pain in Bro Keller's face. That one rocked his world. Well, I'll tell Pratt. you what, Deshaun Pratt, all-American athlete, Bro Keller, same thing. I mean, these two men are well-seasoned up and down the East Coast. You're not gonna find two more evenly matched than here in PPW with these two. No way, this is what independence wrestling is all about. Two young athletes putting everything they have. Oh. Ripped him right down by the back of the collarbone. He couldn't grab his hair. Keller don't have that much. Deshaun Pratt starting to move away with this matchup here. Starting to take this one home with him. Side press, he hooked the outside leg. Perhaps if he would have grabbed the inside leg, might have had more leverage on that, EJ. Pratt went outside, Keller kicked out. Deshaun Pratt wondering what he has to do now to keep Bro Keller down. Well, Fred, John, John, about how hot the gym is over here. What do you want, Paul Bo to turn it down? Snap suplex by Pratt, two count. Right back over to cover. Keller kicks out again. And now you can see the frustration on the face of Deshaun Pratt. Phil, tell us about that. I mean, what do you do to put Bro Keller away? I mean, he's throwing the kitchen sink at him and every time, even with a bad back, even being beaten up from the week before, Bro Keller continues to get up. Deshaun Pratt knows that Bro Keller is the type of athlete that just needs a little opening as we're seeing here and it's a completely different match. Beautiful, Michinoku driver, three no. Guys, this one was circled as a one to, that will steal the show by Tornado Tag Podcast earlier this week. Honestly, I agree. This I thing love is those a great guys one. at Tornado Podcast. Great guys, great podcast. Give them a listen. Winds them up. Ripcord went for the knee. Pratt caught him. Northern Light suplex there. With a release as usually. Keller's back hit hard there. Pratt didn't hold him, as you would see usually on our Northern Lights. Absolutely. Pratt, Keller ducks out, and you can see him holding that back now, EJ. Up and over goes Bro, hanging on for life. Step up in Seguri right to the side of the temple of Pratt. Keller with the springboard flying body press into the roll. Pratt rolls him through. Look at his core strength, EJ. Pratt just plucks Bro Keller off the mat into the fireman's carry. Bro Keller gets out. Oh man, caught him with some big feet right there, right in that teeth. 
Big foot to the face, another ripcord. Knee right to the chin, the Prince is out. Floats over, east-west cover, back press, hooks the leg and a kick out of two. You know, we talk about the frustration of Deshaun Pratt. Bro Keller's feeling that right now. Did everything right, and then did it right again, then hooked the leg. Still a two, Deshaun Pratt, you're gonna need a lot more to put the Prince of Camden down here tonight, EJ. Back to square one here. Up in the fireman's carry, Bro Keller. Oh, has him up in the electric chair. Pratt rolls through. He's got him! Here's your winner, the Prince of What a way to start this episode of PPW High Voltage. Unbelievable matchup by two unbelievable young athletes of Sean Pratt came up with the W there. Guys, we still got more. Billy Gunn in the Sambo Show teaming up to take on Chris Banks and the Punk Rock All-Stars coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Mitchell here. I'm waiting for SPF back in their locker room. Man, that issue an open challenge. Oh, hey, Luca, whoa, Jimmy. Whoa, whoa, looky, looky, whoa, looky. Whoa, hey. Yo, what is it? Tommy, Tommy. Michelle. 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 Do me a favor. Put, t get your finger up in the air. Put your finger real high up in the air. Go now, higher. Bring it, bring it down like right around here. Now bring it close to your nose. Now stick it in your nose, Hermie. Stick it in, Hermie! Very good. All the way. There you go. All right. What happened here at PPW tonight? This isn't PPW resolution. No, no, no. As the line Luca Brazi and myself have proven, tonight, let's call it a rebirth, huh? What are you saying, yeah, Michelle? Yeah, yeah. A little rebirth. Is it, is it Hermie? Michelle? Michelle? Doesn't matter. Look, look. Nothing matters. Everything is everything here around PPW. You see, yous are confused. We know what we're here to do. You forgot about us, huh? It's okay to cheer on whoever you want, hell. Hell, we encourage it, but you know what? You forgot about us. You forgot about Old Faithful, huh? You forgot about the line. You forgot about the gent. Nope. Keep it in there. No one forgets about SPF. No one forgets about South Philly's finest. We are unforgettable. <laughs> you like that? Get the mic out. Talk to him. See, I feel a little bit differently. See, it's not okay. It's never been okay. The fact of the matter is, is that the gent Jimmy Conway and myself are six-time PPW Tag Team Champions. And what we deserve is we deserve respect at all points, period. They come in and they say, we're the greatest show on earth, plagiarism. We already know who the show is and you're looking at them. Tonight, everyone, everyone in this building learned firsthand why the finest come from South Philly. You can like it, you can love it. It doesn't matter, as I said, nothing matters. It don't make dollars, then it don't make sense, then does it, boys? And you're looking at the boys that put the asses in the seats. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, no. We're not good guys, we're not bad guys, we're just wise guys. We're done here, Hermie. Can, can I take my- Beat it, son, beat it. PPW Nation on Saturday, February 15th, the countdown to Super Show 3 officially begins. See former WWE superstars, the Headbangers, as Mosh and Thrasher come to Holy Family Academy in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. See PPW stars the Neon Ninja Facade, Clutch Adams, Deshaun Pratt, KC Navarro, and much, much more. Tickets are available right now at PPWWrestling.com. Guys, what will we do for an encore? We just seen Deshaun Pratt and Bro Keller. Now, the Punk Rock All Stars will be teaming with Chris Banks, taking on Billy Gunn in the Sambo Show. We'll go for Paul Bow for the introduction. Thanks. 
putting in fantastic shape. works out for him. Well, possibly the hottest team in PPW, the Sambo Show. The former PPW heavyweight champion, Sam Adams, former TV champion, Siler Andrew. They're going to clear the ring themselves. Chris Banks yelling at us. These guys act like we do the booking. We're just a guy. I just work here is the best thing I've ever said at this company. I don't know nothing. I just work here. That's right. I'll expect a small boat start. Small boat is not going to like that. Those are our notes. Paul, it's all Paul Bo's fault. It's all Paul Bo's fault. It's all Paul Bo's fault. Now, tonight, I don't like, I'll tell you what, I don't like this Chris Banks guy one bit. So did 
with the TV program, but we're going to keep moving on. You know what? That never gets old hearing that. I don't care if it's 1997 or 2020. That was the best time to be a pro wrestling fan. If you weren't there, folks, I feel sorry for you. All right, six-man tag action here tonight on PPW High Voltage. Billy Gunn in fantastic shape. And it looks like he might start it off with a Sambo show and Gunn here. Oh, he's going to start going to do -si do with P.K. Sanford. Chris. Chris Banks outspoken on Facebook about taking on Philly Gunn, not giving him the respect, wanting to punch him in the face. Philly Gunn heard that, and he was not impressed. Well, Chris Banks is going to start it off, and he wants Philly Gunn. Shocking. This is why you always speak before you speak, folks. Choose your words carefully. Especially around a veteran like Billy Gunn. Six-man tag team match. Chris Banks and the Punk Rock All-Stars against Billy Gunn and the Sambo Show. And what, in Lord's name, is Chris Banks doing in the middle of this ring? I saw EJ dance like that at my sister's wedding. I was kind of the rug. It was all over the that night. There we go. Gunn right to the handle on Slapson, right on the keister. Right on the keister. Show making a lot of waves here at PPW just in a short amount of time, guys. You have to figure it out. Oh. 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 You wanted it quiet. 
Double axe handle right across the arm of Banks, and Sam Adams winds it up. Tag to Billy Gunn. Yeah, I'm just looking at the tag team division picture overall. You have to figure Sambo Show has her eye on that tag team championship, and they may be friends with me again. Gunn, Gunn went up to the second rope. He just said he can't do that anymore and blow his knee off. He came down and put Banks. Banks taking a beating so far here. Well, he asked for it, Paul. Uh, like I said, be careful what he asked for. Yeah, Billy Gunn told me, I'm going to have to back up the smack you talk to him. Just call him Let's say whatever you want it. Siler Andrews now controlling Banks. Adams looking to turn up the gas a little bit, Phil. Well, we've seen this. We've seen this. Uh, we've seen this attitude from Sam Adams in the past. He's won the PPW Heavyweight Championship with that attitude. Paul. He had some wars while defending that championship and gaining that championship. Sam Adams is no joke, folks. Well, I'll tell you what, Sam, the Sambo Show is one of the hottest tag teams right now in PPW, and they continue to ascend their, their, their shot at the title. And send themselves, excuse me, up to the top for that title shot. Got a little tongue tied there, Phil. Now, you've been talking at, a lot today. I was looking at Delilah's red pants there. Careful. She heard the stuff you said about her last month. No, she didn't. She wasn't. I told her. I told her just a couple minutes before we got on the air. Adams rolls up and over. Look at this. Down goes Sean Cannon. See, that's what keeps. Right into the lap. Well, there goes the Red Bull. That was almost your laptop there, Bottom. That was my Red Bull, EJ. This is absolute bedlam. Billy Gunn taking his time out here. His eyes. Helping out Sam Adams. Uh, PJ Sandra down on checking out on Sam Adams. Billy Gunn pleading, pleading with the ref to get some kind of control in this matchup. It's absolute anarchy out there. And this is the environment that the Punk Rock All-Stars thrive in. Tyler Andrews yelling at Sam Adams, talking about my expensive laptop. I, you know, I appreciate the concern. I do. Adams got him in the wrong part of town. He's down the triple two network continues as they distract P.K. Sanford, and that's not that hard to do. Jim Holbert has won another one like that. I was say, I think Sanford went to the Holbert School of Officiating. Kind of looks like him a little bit. Gets the punk rock all the way. Loves him right across the back, and now a boot right across the shoulder blade, and they have Sam Adams in their corner. You know, speaking of the hair, Drake Carter's hair is sticking up at a considerably higher length this month, I believe. New hairstylist out in Baltimore. Eight Paul Bo went to him. Real punks use egg whites in Elmersville. Tell you what, say what you want about Sean Cannon, but he's one of those rookie elbow right across the larynx there. And now mounted full mount on Adams. Punch him right to the cranium. Right to the and you can see the sweat flying off Sam Adams. And Drake Carter loves every minute of it. Yeah, as unorthodox as the boys from Baltimore are, they are, in fact, former PPW Tag Team Champions and not to be messed with, not to be taken lightly. Well, speaking of unorthodox styles, I heard a rumor that next month we're going to have the headbangers here in PPW. Josh Thrasher is coming through Hazleton. Who hasn't at this point? Just another great name showing here to Hazleton. John Nord was not available because of the seven altercations he had with the law. So he's, up, he's not allowed to fly now. Here's a tag. There's the tag. Oh, man! He smoked him like a Cuban cigar in Little Havana, right on the jaw. Siler Andrews drilled him. Did you see his head stack back, Phil? Oh, P.K. Sanford is distracted. Sean Cannon's going to take advantage of it. I 
look at this. The ref didn't see the punk rock all star double counter the gun, trying to save his partners there. Well, it's pandemonium now here. All hell is broken loose. Banks now has him back, rolled back in the surfboard position there. Look at this. Oh man, kick right. Right, right. Disarray. The great confusion. The smoke screen. The optical illusion. Do it with smoke in there. Shut up, Delilah. Uh, Chris Banks going to start yeah, yelling at Paul Bo. I'm going to blame you for everything. Paul, I'm not going to stand for that. I'm going to run away. Well, Billy Gunn trying to get this crowd back into this, trying to get Siler in a little bit more motivation to crawl over and make that needed tag. Very close when Drake Carter will pull him right back. That's him in the corner. Andrews now in the wrong part of town again. Punk Rock Monsters, remember, this is why they held those PPW belts for well over a year. The continuity, the teamwork that goes into tag team wrestling. Shoulders down, floats over, grabs the inside leg, outside leg, excuse me, and a kick out of two. Phil, what is going on here right now? Absolute chaos. <laughs> Tyler Andrews needs to tag. The Punk Rock All-Stars and Chris Banks are showing extremely good tag team moves. You gotta be impressed with the showing here from Punk Rock All-Stars and Chris Banks. They are in absolute control of this matchup. EJ, Billy Gunn is like a caged animal. It's like you waiting to take Harper out for a walk. He's waiting to get in the ring. Paul Bo, it's gonna be great in today. If you put it, get out. Look at here comes Billy Gunn. Chris Banks in house. Look at this, gun showing why he's done it for so many years at a high level. Out goes John Cannon, big squash to Banks, has him set up. Billy finding himself where he doesn't want to be right now, EJ. Billy Gunn, absolutely clear in house. Went for the famous sir, no, gets caught with the European. Banks caught him right there on the face, knocked him down. Cannon in the ring. Excuse me, that, that's Carter. Jaw jacker right to Adams. Has him down. Big knee right under the jaw. Mile a minute action here. Siler Andrews back in this one. One step ahead of the Punk Rock All-Stars. Drives a hair spike right into the ring. But look in the corner here. John Cannon caught oh, with a big boot. Billy Gunn, out he goes again, Cannon. Banks, look at this, delivering the blows. My God, sends him for the ride. Well, you're going to have to watch this one two, three, four times just to see there it is. what's going on in this matchup. Close over. One, two. Well, Billy Gunn and the Stambo Show picking up an impressive win here on PPW High Voltage. Well, a sign of respect in Japan, EJ. The streamers are getting thrown into the ring. show, but it certainly goes to extends to Billy Gunn as well. Guys, watching Facade up next. We're going to get out of here, pay some bills. We'll be right back after this. PPW Nation. On Saturday, February 15th, the countdown to Super Show 3 officially begins. See former WWE superstars, the Headbangers, as Mosh and Thrasher come to Holy Family Academy in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. See PPW stars, the Neon Ninja Facade, Clutch Adams, Deshaun Pratt, KC Navarro, and much, much more. Tickets are available right now at PPWWrestling.com. My name is Bro Keller. So PPW, clearly, I mean, I'm in these matches. I'm trying to fight to get into the championship picture. I've been here for six matches now. 
haven't been too victorious, which is unfortunate, but we got the, the Rumble tonight, and I'm trying to go take it to the house, and I'm trying to win it, get the championship picture, and see where we can go moving forward. I mean, I think a lot of people have similar goals. They can vary minor critically here and there, but obviously you want to get that contract, whether it be AEW, NXT, WWE, New Japan. It's always to take it to the next level so you can be on a higher platform, reach a broader audience, and make sure you're connecting with each and every individual. Hey, Clutch, is this a bad time? Can I get a word of you real quick? I'm going to sit down. First of all, moron, you, it's always a bad time when you barge in my locker room and blatantly interrupt me. So yes, it might be a bad time, because that's what you just did. What? What? What do you got to say? What? You got a question? Comment? Concern? What? The PBW Nation wants to know how you plan to defend your title against Facade, the Neon Ninja, tonight. How? How I plan to defend my title against Facade? I'm sure they would all like to know that, wouldn't they? I'm sure Facade would like to know that too. That way he could have the upper hand. Well, guess what? You don't become a champion like me when you give away your strategies, do you? No, no. So why don't you go back to the drawing board, buddy boy, and learn how to become a, a correspondent. Because obviously you're not doing your job right. Well, thank you, champ. Back to you guys. main event time the neon ninja facade with danny mo coming down ej this is facade's most important match here in hazelton today absolutely this is one that the pbw nation has been wanting to see this is one that independent wrestling fans have wanted to see and this is one that i personally have wanted to see for a very very long time this is a long time in the making no one deserves a shot more than the Neon Ninja facade. Well, facade and Danny Moe will find friends everywhere they go, and that includes Hazleton, Pennsylvania. This whole crowd, everyone here tonight, wants facade to walk out of that champion, walk out of this building, the PPW Heavyweight Champion. We're gonna have to see if he can put it all together Against the against a very experienced Clutch Adams. Clutch Adams is you may not like him, but he is a fighting champion. We'll talk more about that as the match goes on. But he has defended that title in four ways, in five ways, in singles matches. Anything PPW has thrown at him, he has come successful. Facade is not in for an easy match here tonight. Well, enter the PPW Heavyweight Champion. You can't touch Clutch. At least that's what they say in the back, EJ. We're going to have to see if Facade can tag Clutch Adams tonight and take that title away from him. Here comes the most arrogant man in PPW. Well, Clutch Adams never shy to our PBW cameras, never shy to talking to Tom Mitchell. Very confident coming in here tonight. Clutch Adams raises that championship above his head, guys. Is it the last time he does it? We're gonna have to see.
Now we go up to Paul Bow for the introduction. getting the announcements out of my mouth and Clutch Adams jumps all over to Neon Ninja facade. Phil, he's got to take him out early and often if he's going to be victorious and retain his title. A, bit, a great big huge match. Huge match for both men tonight. Clutch Adams wants to get out of this early because you never know when facade's going to take that advantage and get you rolled up for the three count. Tell you what, you could tell Clutch Adams was nervous about this one coming in. That's why he tried to get the got the advantage and I'll tell unfairly. you I'll tell you what the electric atmosphere here at Holy Family Academy it has the feeling of a big 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 matchup here on PPW High Voltage Phil it's our main event tonight why do we keep having Carden for these things has anybody heard me talk about the, this idiot Jeff Carden in the ring for such an important match ball facade with a beautiful knife edge chop Jeff Carden's our senior official. Don't remind me. Heavyweight championship match. What do you expect? Facade has a measured again. Goes, oh, and a big double slap on the back of the Neon, or excuse me, of Clutch Adams. Has him bent over. Gonna send him for the ride. Winds him up. Reversal. Oh, man, caught him watching a lot of tape there, Phil. Yeah, you know what? Facade has his opponent well scouted. He's been working for this opportunity for months, if not years, and he's finally got it. You know he put in his homework. You know he didn't come here unprepared. And you know Facade has spent some time in the land of the rising sun honing his skills, and you can see them there with those knife edge chops and those kicks that are lethal weapons, those legs, and now the game of cat and mouse begins. Clutch, no water in the pool. Drops the elbow facade just a little too quick for him. Facade keg stand in the corner. Mule kicks Clutch Adam Shades of EJ back at Temple. Which one, the mule kicks or the keg stand? I was talking about the keg stand. Big back elbow by the Neon Ninja facade. They call him the Aerosol Assassin. Facade takes flight to the air. And Phil, I can tell you the crowd really wants it here. They want to see gold on the Neon Ninja. He has held gold up and down the East Coast. This PPW title has eluded him. Facade about to take off and- Oh, and look at he just took Danny Moe. Smart move by Clutch Adams there. Right off the hardest part of the ring, the apron. Now Clutch Adams in control. Picks him up, plants his face right on that hard, for unforgiving steal. And Paul, you talk about everybody wanting Facade to win this match. How many signs did we see coming into PPW Holy Family tonight with a Facade sign, with neon colors on? There's not one person in this building right now that wants Clutch Adams to leave with this championship. Maybe Ryan Race. Aside from him, that's it. Well, there's been trouble in paradise in the undeniable stable. Clutch Adams not accompanied to the ring again by Ryan Race sitting to my immediate left. Very quiet here, reserved, and I'll tell you what, that's when he's at his most dangerous. Well, we've always said this about Ryan Race. When you cannot see him, that is when he's at his most dangerous. We don't know. He's sitting right here. He hasn't said anything. He's sitting here all cryptic. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, it's starting to get me worried here. I mean... Well, he's mad he's sitting next to Paul. It's quite obvious. Oh no. Shut up, Kuiper! Oh, Thank God. you. Dynamite drop I knew in. I could get him to say something. Well, he said the right thing, that's for sure. Yeah, well, it's not going to work. Because I don't listen to anyone. Well, Clutch Adams going to resort to the most technical move in the book a choke on the ropes. Well, his book, anyway. Hey, if it works, it works. He's wearing Oh, right, look at Carden in there. He's taking advantage of the five second rule. Carden's not going to let him get more than five seconds, so you can be better believe that. And Facade now being beaten down by Clutch, showing why he is the PPW champion. Big scoop slam 
by Adams. Down goes the knee on Ninja Facade. Guys, the winner of this will move on to April to take on the winner of next week's episode, the, Revol or the, the uh, Resolution Rumble, shall I say. I'll tell you what, 30 competitors. It's going to be an absolute dynamite. Tell you next what, week. They've come from near and far. I saw the list earlier. There are some blanks, so I don't know everyone that's in the Rumble. I don't know positions, but I'll tell you what. Stay tuned next week on PPW High Voltage. You know what, Polbo? I challenged you to meet me in the Rumble again this year, but you said something about a knee, a hurt knee or something. Always an excuse. Well, that, that, to be to be fair, it was a game-winning single, was it not, Paul? It was a game-winning single, and the team PPW won the championship. Undefeated, I might add. Undefeated, that's right, with the help of Tom Mitchell. I heard Tom Mitchell's girlfriend had a lot to do with that. <laughs> oh, there's a poke right in the eyes by Facade. Facade fighting back on all cylinders. Clutch just step right on his toes. Well, that's one way to ground him. Facade has to use the weight advantage. He has to use the strength advantage. Clutch has a lower base that is rock solid, and he's got to keep the Neon Ninja grounded. You can see Facade trying to will himself to that vertical base. Danny cheering him on, his longtime partner. And now look at this. Big German suplex in the pinning predicament. Clutch up on all fours. You know what? I don't think we've ever seen Facade in this kind of position before at PPW. He is getting absolutely manhandled here tonight. Do you think maybe he bit off more than he could chew? Well, before this match, guys, Facade appeared a little bit nervous. He wasn't his normal self. We're going to have to see if he can put this thing together. He knows this is the biggest match of his PPW career. We're going to have to see if he can get it. Now, this, listen, listen to this crowd here. You talk about a big game feel, like we said. Big match feel. Facade now firing back. EJ, sorry to cut you off. Go ahead. I was just going to say that if there's one person who's definitely not a hype job, it is Facade. He puts his money where his mouth is. As we're seeing right here, beautiful Itsuguri out of nowhere. Pulled that one from way deep down inside. Well, I'll tell you what, that's all about Facade. You can see you could be beating him down. The ropes are his friends. He, he, he lives with his one with the ropes. As you would say, he can take off. He can do anything you want. The man is a 4-2 player. If he was a sports athlete there, you would say he has everything. Both men already throwing a lot at the other. Crowd firmly behind Facade. They want to see that title change here tonight. Big, Big back elbow from Facade getting the advantage here on the champion. The he, tides are starting to turn. He's coming alive, EJ. Whips him into the corner, drops down. Clutch puts on the brakes, and you can hear that kick echo through. Oh, look at this. Little Matrix action. Almost seems to be imper uh, immune to pain for a moment there. He summoned all his chi energy, and the strikes of Clutch Adams just didn't do anything. Basad, he's looking to start the wheels turning. He's looking to take off. You can see Fasad, Clutch, Groggy, Fasad. Oh, wait a minute. Going to walk the ropes. Smart to put on the brakes. Ducks under Facade. Facade caught himself though, sets himself up for this next big over. Springboard cutter. Clutch tried to get out of it the last second. Facade still caught him. Three, oh! How close was that? Well, Danny thought it was over. The look on Danny Moe's face shocked. And Facade cannot believe it either, Paul. And the fans here want a new champion tonight, Phil. They want to see Facade's hand held high in the air well neon ninjas chance start much to your point paul as facade climbs the top rope and look the only it. safe place for clutch is outside this building i think paul oh, and he's looking he's grabbing cardin oh please oh come on beautiful move you don't have to like it very smart move by clutch adams hey, clutch clutch. adams about to take off Someone better call the airport, EJ, to get clearances. Big oh! Clutch elbow floats over. One, two, three. How did Facade kick out of that one? Clutch has put so many opponents away with that elbow that the, that the emotion just dropped in this building. Everyone thought that was over, including Clutch Adams. We are still on, guys. Clutch Adams will put most opponents away with that move. Facade isn't most opponents.
Passat is one of the top competitors in the world today. What's Clutch getting? Wait, Danny Moe. Danny Moe has stopped Clutch. He's getting a chair. Oh, don't push Danny. This doesn't look good. Cardin's looking right at him. And that backfired big time. The champ got caught right in the face. You know what's coming here. You know what's coming here, Phil. Oh, Clutch better know because he better get out of Dodge. Too late. Look at this. Oh, my God. You know, my heart stops every time someone jumps out of the rope, thanks to Rembrandt. By the way, Rembrandt update doing phenomenal. Rembrandt has entered his name in the Rumble. We will Unbelievable, see that week. kid. Unbelievable strength, Clutch, that kid. Looking to go coast to coast. Oh, boy. Look at Frank Boris. Yeah, he's in position, like all right. Like a cat. Walks the ropes. He made it. Oh, he connected. Cover him, Facade. Cover him. New champ, cover him. That has to be it. He's close to the ropes. Wait, Cardin missed it. Wait, Cardin missed it. And everybody shocked. Cardin missed it. Well, Facade is the PPW heavyweight champion, guys. Clutch Adams, his foot on the way, wait, whoa, whoa, P.K. Sanford. P.K. Sanford coming out and waving this off. E.J. Oh, Cardin, going on Cardin missed another one, can you believe it? Shades of Mike Orlando all over again with Jeff Cardin. You know what, I think we should see the tape again to see if the foot was on before or after the three count. Well, Cardin's been corrected. Well, this is Jack Swagger and Mike Orlando all over again. Who keeps giving this guy, and by that guy, I mean Cardin, a job? Cardin's supposed to be the senior official. Well, supposed to be was the right way to say that. Good job, Paul. I think Cardin has senior level eyesight right now. Can you see? Get your glasses. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, come on, Cardin! Oh, terrible referee. Well, oh, this have, is terrible. They have replay in football. They have replay in football. Why not in professional wrestling? Back to square one now. Passat off the ropes, ducks the clothesline, barely misses, and they collide in the middle of the ring. Both men went for the same move. Wait, what's this? Deshaun Pratt, what's he doing? Is he gonna cash in? What is he doing? Deshaun Pratt. Deshaun Pratt, the golden ticket holder, what's happening? Deshaun Pratt appears to be cashing in his golden ticket. Look at no oh, way. wait a minute, no! Handful of oh, come on! By hooker, by crook! Guys, the best skill that Clutch Adams has is leaving this building with the title. It doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter by hook, by crook, he's leaving with the title. Clutch Adams has just stole one, EJ. Yeah, what else are you gonna say? That was highway robbery, Facade knows it. And you can best bet he's gonna be out for vengeance. It's what you all been waiting for. The PPW Resolution Rumble. Who is going in April to take on Clutch Adam? 30 men enter, one man leaves.
Tonight, 30 of PPW's top competitors have a chance to make history. The chance to rise above everyone else in Hazleton. The chance to prove that they are the one. The chance to go to PPW Super Show in April and challenge for the top prize in Hazleton, the PPW Heavyweight Championship. Tonight, 30 men, one ring, and one chance at greatness. The PPW resolution is now. Welcome everybody to PPW High Voltage, a special here tonight, the Resolution Rumble. And look who draws number one, Andy Header on his way to the ring, EJ Kuiper, Charles Mason joining us. Charles Mason in the flesh. I just invested, breaking news. Well, breaking news, I just invested in the main event. I am now part of the circus and uh, We'll see what Andy Hedder got. This guy is a very good competitor. Doesn't win much, but he's pretty good. Well, Andy Hedder on Tornado Tag Podcast earlier this week saying he wants to Ric Flair this situation. He wants to come in early, stay the whole time, win the whole thing. How you do it is draw number one. That part is the easy part, guys. Don't put that past Andy Hedder. I mean, he's wrestled all over the eastern seaboard, up and down the highway. This man is a true veteran. Oh boy! Guys, a lot of talk about Killian McMurphy coming in here to PPW. Oh, oh. oh yeah, you a jerk. The shooter, Killian McMurphy, drawing number two. Charles, what are your thoughts on McMurphy? I, I've, I've never been in the ring with this gentleman, but I've seen his work. He has a nasty attitude. He really brings it to you in the ring. He's aggressive. So he's, right now, I'll be honest, he's one of my picks besides myself to win this. Well, Andy Hedder was my pick to win it, and you see why I don't get an investing. Look at this. I'm hosed here, guys. There's no way I win this. Well, the PPW Resolution Rumble starting right now. Who is going to ape in April to fight for the PPW Heavyweight Championship at Super Show 3? We are about to find out. Big, big stakes in this matchup, and it's anyone's to win. The, t the field of talent is deep, evenly matched. It's anyone's game right now. Guys, every minute a new participant entering the Rumble. Who will be number three? This is a big thing. Andy Hedder hopes, obviously, that it's an ally if he wants to last this whole thing. And there goes that aggression I spoke about earlier. That is oh. well said. Andy Hedder with an arm drag. Ooh, big hip toss from Andy Hedder. Yeah, on these early goings of the Rumble, you're going to see actual wrestling. You're not going to see this as the Rumble goes on. It's going to just break down into a straight-up brawl to get other men over that top rope. But until other men come in, they have no choice but to do what they do. Have to weaken your opponent in order to get them over the top rope. Absolutely. It's not that a lot of people think, hey, Royal Rumble, let's throw them over the top rope. Once you get in there, you'll see how difficult it is. Absolutely. I actually entered the Rumble myself last year and I threw Paul Bo out. But who won that Rumble last year? Charles Mason. Charles Mason did. Looking to, looking to make it a two peat, a repeat. I just remembered that. I won last year. I'm going to win again. See why we have you here on commentary, Charles Mason. To remind myself of myself. Oh, there's Bo. There's Bo. I know what that feels like. I was in the ring with him earlier tonight, and I beat him. Bo Nakoda putting the boots to Andy Hedder. A little bit of an alliance for me here between Bo Nakoda and Killian. 
Oh, here we go. We might have our first elimination, and Andy Hedder fighting back. Here we go. Bo Nakoda on that top rope, struggling to stay in here. Andy Hedder just really struggling just to survive in this one. Hear that crowd counting down. Oh boy, Jay Lyon, one of my favorites. Jay Lyon draws number four. And you know so what? He's the king of this jungle. I'm sorry, you go ahead. After what we saw earlier, it's very impressive to see Jay Lyon out here and in this kind of condition. Look at that strength, wow. Well, Jay Lyon's got to be considered at least somebody to look out for here. His size, his speed combined. And the fact that he's the freshest one in there right now. Look out! Killian McMurphy out on his feet. Big Enziguri from one half of the PPW Tag Team Champions. You know, it's interesting seeing some of these usual tag team competitors as singles competitors. You're going to see that as we have several tag teams entering as singles competitors into this rumble. Well, we're at 10. We're at 8. We're going to get a new guy in five seconds, guys. Who could it be? Oh, and Jimmy Conway has entered. Jay Lyon needs to watch out. Jay Guys, Lyon a few, needs to watch out. Sorry, Charles. A few weeks ago, South Philly's finest attacking the main event. Look at Jay Lyon looking right at Jimmy Conway. He does not forget the actions a couple weeks ago when the South Philly's finest came out and attacked the main event. And Conway is going to... Well, Conway's going to take his time getting in the ring. Let's not let's not lie about it. Oh, well, Hedder's Hedder going to help him. Out. What did he do <laughs> Hedder went out through the bottom rope, didn't go over the top. Jay Lyon taking it to Jimmy Conway. There goes the reversal. Lyon getting his claws on the gent. Over the top. Oh, Jimmy Conway hangs on. And there goes. Jimmy and Conway is the first elimination. We oh, we got, a, we got a new guy. And Conway's the first the one gone. Around. What goes around comes around, Bravado, and J-Line just got a little taste of revenge there. Well, look at who the madness that is Trip. Gone. Wait, he was eliminated by Jimmy Conway's already out. What just? Wow, what a piece of garbage that Jimmy Conway is. Eliminated, comes right back in and takes out Jay Lyon. Well, he's getting, he's getting it for doing that. Jay Lyon and him are gonna brawl right to the back. You know, we haven't seen the madness of Trip in a PPW ring in at least five years. I say we go back this to Freeland, like I think, a, with that. This is like seeing a ghost. Well, Trip from upstate New York, Buffalo specifically, coming down here to PPW, trying to make a name for himself like everybody else is, EJ. And what an opportunity. As we get one more second, we're going to have a new participant. Action's a mile a minute. Well, the big man, Alexander Bateman, headed to the ring. We know him as a henchman for Drew Adams. We're going to see what he can do one-on-one -on -one in here. You he have got... to believe that this man has the advantage in this type of matchup, being one of the biggest competitors in the Rumble. Yeah, that is not easy to lift a man that size up and over that top rope. Yeah, it's going to take two or three, maybe four people to get him. Or a forklift. Well, Tripp didn't get that memo as he starts to try to lift. Oh, there nine goes, seconds for the next competitor. There goes Trip. Yeah, no, Trip, Trip might have Trip might have started a war that he doesn't want. Action a mile a minute, literally, as one more minute elapses. Yeah. 
Well, two of Drew Hensman's men right after one another. There we see Team Adams in the ring right now. I smell something funny going on here. You gotta wonder if Drew Adams has these guys in to weaken up everybody else for him, make him better, have better chances here. We'll have to see what happens. Bo Nakoda not putting up with that very long. I will Andy say I am impressed. Andy had the first man in, still in the rumble. He's laying low. Hel holds on there, look at that, like a cat. Casey Navarro asked there. Here's the countdown up again, Bravado. Well, a trip biting, biting Bateman in the corner. It's not gonna get him over the top rope, but it is gonna hurt him. Well, we've got another entry. Squid Sterling on the way to the ring. Squid Sterling. I don't know this guy, but I love his name. <laughs> uh, I hope he lasts till I eliminate him. <laughs> yeah, look at this. We welcome all competitors here into the Rumble. Maybe he'll make a name for himself. All it takes is one match. You know, you announce a Rumble and you see a lot of guys you don't usually see in the back trying to show up, trying to get on the show. And what better way to debut in PPW than to earn yourself a championship? Listen, all these guys are looking for is an opportunity. And what better opportunity to be in a number one contender's Royal Rumble. Okay, you got 30 or 29 other men in there. Who knows what happened? Today could be anyone's lucky night. Andy Hedder just hit a big swinging neck breaker. Well, another competitor on his way to the ring. And that sound is one thing. The Kaleidoscope of Chaos is here. Foreman. That is the fireworks, Fox Vineyard. I'm very familiar with that man. I lost uh, a couple matches there. He was a former, no limits champion. Let me tell you something. In 2020, this guy right here is going to make an impact. I believe it. I believe everything this guy brings to the table. And he's looking to make a statement. You know, Fox Video was the first one announced on BBW's Facebook page, BBWWrestling.com, also reporting it. People went nuts. He's got a real chance to win this thing. He has drawn a number that's acceptable for him to win this thing. We'll have to see if he can put it together. Absolutely. Honestly, one of the favorites to win this here tonight. Well, As Bateman makes it by our own Phil Gravato here. Bateman takes a swing. Oh. <laughs> Vineyard's clearing house. Something. First time I've seen him, to be honest with you, Charles. <laughs> right. Might be the last time he gets eliminated right here. Yeah, that's the best part about these Rumbles. You get to see new talent. You get to see talent you haven't seen in six years. And you get to see your favorites that you see every week. Yeah, you never know who's coming through that curtain next. Which, by the way, I think we're probably halfway there to finding a new one. And this ring filling up, guys. I was just about to say that. This ring is getting crowded. That's what the people came here to see, folks. The crowded ring. Header and what I believe Nakoda drew, drawing number two. Was it Nakoda? Nakoda came in at number three. Well, Samuel Adams representing the Sambo Show. Hot tag team here in BPW. Oh, we just had an, an elimination over there. Fun, fun fact about Samuel Adams, his favorite beer is Samuel Adams <laughs> beer. And he's taking it to the competition right here. Oh. Sam Adams, former PBW heavyweight champion, looking to get his hand back on that title. I almost forgot that. All right. But this man is making a push in the tag team division now. All right, he's a big fan favorite. And he's really good. But not looking so great right here. No way, he may have came out a little too hot out of the gate there. And now he's he might be fading around that first stretch. Guys, Andy Hedder's lost his mind. He's hitting everyone that's standing. 
Andy Hedder, Andy Hedder is getting more energy as this match goes on. Oh boy, gentlemen. We might have just found our winner in Bull Hightower. How do you get this guy out, Charles? Listen, all I know is I pinned that man tonight. Last what? month he was a coward. A coward that went after my new and very good friend, Amanda James. Him and Bo. And tonight I attacked with the Brooklyn Brawler. I took this guy out. I promise you, when I get there, I'm taking him out. Yeah, Charles, your alliance with Evander James just a few weeks ago has shocked everybody, to be completely honest with you. Look at these elbow shades of Dusty Rhodes. That man, Evander James, works harder than anybody I've ever seen. Okay, he went to Japan, he came back, his work ethic is unlike anything else. All right, so I respect the man like that. All right, it comes down to respect. It's hard to earn my respect, and he did it. All right, and I, I like to say we're friends. Did the match that you guys had, an amazing match a couple weeks ago, did that have anything to do with him earning your respect? Absolutely, I've seen him. I've seen him from afar. But to be in the ring with that man, to feel the skill that he has, that was what topped it all off. I knew that he was a man that I could trust. Trip is holding on. Well, Hohen, coming down to the ring, nobody knows about this guy, Charles. We've been trying to find out all night about this guy. Very elusive to our cameras. No one can get a word with him. I don't think he wants to be seen. I think he's coming in, ready to do what he has to do, take care of business and go home. But while he was coming in, Shrip was eliminated. Okay, he's like a ghost. I haven't seen him in six months. We'll see what happens in the next six months. Well, we know little about Pone, a Polynesian prince. From, from the Isle of Samoa, I believe. The son of King Alex Dewat. Big shot there. Look at Bull Hightower, he is out. Oh boy! They just keep getting bigger and better, guys. Isaac Rule, the No Limits champion, coming down to the ring. As a former No Limits champion myself, this probably is one of the most intimidating men to ever hold that championship. If he can Are you ready, Phil? Are you ready? I'm ready, Ryan, are you? A 30-man multi-man, can you imagine? Look at the two big grizzly bears going out in the middle of the ring. Isaac Rule, Bull Hightower, seeing who the biggest boy on the block is. I have no doubt in my mind that Rule can rule this rumble and add the heavyweight championship to go along with his no limit championship. Isaac Rule from Munich, Germany. Hightower just chucked someone over the top. And there goes a big man. C.R. O'Malley entering the, Revo the Resolution Rumble. <laughs> and what's O'Malley doing out here? I don't know, but he's Shut up, Kuiper! <laughs> you know what, Ryan Race? I thought we talked about streaming into the mic. I'll be honest, I'm trying to be a nice guy, but I don't know how he finds suits that fit him. It's a big man at right race or whatever his name is. Yeah, C.R. O'Malley might have bitten off a lot more than he can chew right now. Yeah, why do you think I'm not getting in there this year? Look at the size of those guys in oh, there. Oh boy, and he just got the biggest boy in the ring to stalk him, Bull Hightower. I am in absolute awe. Guy up top. And he's choking well, out poss Bull. possibly the toughest man, no offense, Charles, in PPW after last month, Rembrandt showing up here. Rembrandt, we thought we thought really did break his leg. He he ended up finishing the match, tons of respect, and now has entered himself into the resolution rumble. Yeah, but he's taking his time to go in. I don't like him very much. But I will say he's one of the smartest men. I'm only telling it to my friends. Rembrandt oh, did not appreciate Charles Mason talking about him out here. No, he heard you, Charles. Yeah, he's he's an artist. So you know everything that he does tonight is going to be an art. An art. He is a living work of art. Taking his time to get in there. 
We'll see when he enters. Well, Alexander Bateman has been eliminated and already went to the back. <laughs> so there's one big man gone. Bull Hightower's on the ropes over there. Andy Edder's weakening him. Oh, and look out! Well, no friends in the in the rumble, but Sambo Show seems to be uh, not getting the message there. Bo Nakoda, the unlucky recipient, <laughs> getting stuck between the Sambo Show there. I will say this, if you're fortunate enough to get your best friend, your tag team partner in the ring with you, you take advantage and that's exactly what they just did by eliminating the guy I can't see. And there goes the Polynesian Prince over oh! the top. Rule tried to get Hightower up, couldn't do it. Can he do it? Isaac Rule trying to pick him, oh, there's no way. There's Rule no can't way. get up, Rule can't get the big man up. Who can blame him? As we got another participant here. And Johnny Moran has checked in, guys. And Ryan Race is uh, very excited about this entrance. You know, and it doesn't go without saying, Rembrandt still hasn't entered this. But Johnny Moran has, and he's in the ring right now. He's a TV champion, former tag team champion, I believe. Okay, coming in this late in the rumble, you have an advantage. Especially against a man like Andy Hatter, he is exhausted. You can see it in his kicks, you can see it in his face. And McMurphy just did something to his throat. Johnny Moran, if he ended up picking up the PPW Heavyweight Championship, would be the first Triple Crown winner here in PPW, holding all of the titles. The, world, the PPW Heavyweight Championship, the one that has eluded him, we'll have to see. This is still no. anyone's game in here. Look at that double super kick. Trying to wear down Bull Hightower and get him over that top rope. Once you get him going, gravity will do the rest. That's big men have the advantage until their weight goes against them. Well, who do we got here? Waiting to see who it is. Oh, it's the return of Kakoa! Oh, boy! Former PPW Heavyweight Champion, Kakoa, Sammy Pandora coming back. We said it all night, guys. You don't know who's walking through that curtain. Kakoa has got to be a favorite here right now. I have never met this individual, but just by his mere size, his actions in the ring, his accolades alone, being a former PPW Champion, I am intimidated. I will not lie to you. Yeah, he came in there like a bat out of hell. He wants to make a statement that he is back here tonight in PPW, and he means business. Wait, what's Sammy Pandora doing in the ring? Wow! Pandora! And oh, Sam Adams Sam has Adams been eliminated! Is and Siler Andrews also! Bro Collar on his way to the ring. Already in it. He's too fast for me to keep up with. I will say that Rembrandt, Rembrandt is still out of the ring. Just spectating right now, waiting for well, the right know. moment. Hey, oh, and Hatter. Hatter just eliminated Hightower. Look at uh, Rembrandt in his face. Dirty Rembrandt. You know, an, a good artist has to wait until inspiration strikes him. You can't force that. Okay, he, he just has a little bit of artist block right now. When it's time, he'll go in there and show us what he does best. Well, all this chaos. Oh, I know wait, that music. Wait a minute. This is wait. This is Char Charles Mason. Good luck, Charles. Charles Mason headed to the rings. Good luck to Charles Mason, oh, and he's going to get him in there. Yeah, he throws Rembrandt in there. Enough well, is enough, said Charles Mason. Well, two-man booth now, as our man Charles Mason gets in there. And he didn't even tip us off that he was even in this thing. 
If you got your ears clean, cleaned every once in a while, you would have heard him. Did he say that? I believe so. Hi, I don't Phil. have a headset on. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Phil. Hi, Hi EJ. Oh, gosh. Well, here we go. Another participant. Alex Watts stood up. I thought he was headed in. Oh, wait. The Antonio Rivera. And out goes. Out goes Chopsai Outlaw. And I didn't catch it. Is Mason eliminated too? Mason is eliminated. Come on, Johnny. Well, punch Antonio. And kick. Do what you were trained. Punch and kick. Punch and kick. Go, Johnny. Antonio Rivera wearing the jacket of Tommy Swade. Hang it on. Hold on. Hanging. Killian McMurphy hanging minute. on for dear life. McMurphy. And he'll get in. Wait, Johnny got eliminated? The Johnny Irish Moran shooter. is eliminated. Well, why am I here? Shut up, Kuiper! Yeah, I'm trying to ask that myself. We don't have a two-for-one deal going on here. We're not giving away free samples. Why don't you get out of here? Well, Manakila just entered the rumble. Fox Vineyard wants him. Is Fox Vineyard trying to take take an alliance with Manakila? Well, we got Killian McMurphy hanging on the to dear life and Kikoa both over the top rope, but not on the floor yet. Look at this, Antonio Rivera getting beat down in the corner. Welcome to the business, kid. Man, Aquila taking Andy Hatter down. Hatter's been talking about wanting a championship opportunity for a while. And Andy Hatter is looking worn out. He has been in here since number one. And number two is also still in there, Bravado. You have to give it up for these competitors. Well, here comes Nolo Catano, and he ain't gonna waste any time. Catano going right after Rembrandt. Whoa! They heard that one all the way in Freeland. Bro Keller still in there. Kikoa making a very surprising return to PPW here for the Resolution Rumble. The Ghetto Samurai. Taking it to Fox Vineyard, who's also been in for a while now at this point. Well, we've seen the main event, C.R. O'Malley and Jay Lyon. Now we got Midas Black, the ringleader. The main event tag team champions, but who could pass up the opportunity for a chance at the PPW Heavyweight Championship, BJ? Yeah, it's a two for one deal tonight. Midas Black not playing games. Double team, triple team here on Kakoa. That might be the only way you're gonna get him out. Quadruple team. Well, Kakoa getting the boots stomped to him in every part of his body. Nola Catano still pounding Annie Hedder and Killy McMurphy. Annie Hedder sitting up there, and he might be sent out. Hedder hangs on to fight another day. Well, Luca Brasi not making any friends here a couple weeks ago. I'm still in shock over what we saw a few weeks ago on PBW High Voltage. Well, Jimmy Conway is going to come out and support his tag team partner. Oh, uh, now what's Conway doing out here? Well, instead of throwing it in people's hands, he's throwing it right in their face, the baby powder. And what's, what, yeah, what is Jimmy Conway doing in this ring? Come on, Conway, you're eliminated. Get out of there. 
Well, he's gonna throw some baby powder in Minus Black, and oh, wait! Conway out. Brazi is out on his feet. Not anymore. Oh, and he got kicked right across the nose. That might be a broken nose for Luca Brazzi. Brazzi almost out, minus black. Gonna try one more time. Look out! And he uh, eliminates himself. Worth the sacrifice, though. So. Well, both men out. And yeah, this wasn't about championships for either of these guys. Oh, look at Deshaun Pratt. These people have not forgot what Deshaun Pratt did last week against Clutch and Facade. Well, you know what they say, bravado, what goes around comes around. And when it's time for Facade to seek his revenge, you know he is going to exact it. Well, Fox Vineyard was not eliminated. He, well, yes, he was. Joined He's here out. again by Charles Mason. Yeah, let me tell you something. Yeah, what? I am not a quitter, okay? I might have got eliminated, but I am a damn hard worker, okay? I've learned that from being here in Pennsylvania with these hardworking fans, okay? I've learned what it's like to be that way. I've never worked a day in my life, but I'm gonna start now. And I'm back on the commentary table to call this rumble. And here comes the man you can bank on, I think, Chris, Chris Banks. Well, the, the surprises keep on coming. As Charles just said, he just walked into the ring. I didn't even know he was in it. Bro Keller trying to trying to save himself, road dog style. Wrapping his legs around the bottom rope. Well, we got one more, and Andy, Andy Hatter, Hatter, the oh longest ladder man in the match. Oh, he's still in there. Like a boogie. You know, you got to give it here up for Andy Hatter 30. here. Is it the Undertaker? Here's number 30. I'm not sure that was in the budget. <laughs> uh, who, who is it? Drew Adams. Oh, God. You have to wonder if the resident, and hey, we have a rich boy with us right here. Drew Adams has got some money too. I wonder if he bought that spot at number 30. Yeah, One has to ask. That's a wonder. All I'm concerned about right now is that this is the first time I've ever seen him walk. He usually comes out on that hoverboard, and this is the first time he's ever walked in front of my eyes. Oh, Rivera going up top. What is Rivera it? doesn't care about Whoa. this. Rivera doesn't care about it. He wants to end Drew Adams. That's all he's consumed Rivera's his life with. Him. And he's fine with it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Number wait do we 31. have 31? Well, what's this? Oh, boy. Freddie. Freddie Akers, before this match, was backstage with Facade saying he would fix what happened last week. This has got to be the answer, guys. Well, these men two. angry in the middle of the ring going at it. Facade gets the upper hand. Ooh, big right hand. Just last week, Deshaun Pratt costing the Neon Ninja a championship. That will get anybody angry. Facade wants to win this because if he does, he then gets a rematch with Clutch Adams. That's got to be the number one thing on his mind right now. It has to be the only thing on his mind. Okay? In April, we host Super Show. This man is trying to get his championship in his hands, around his waist, like he deserved. Absolutely, and you know what, Facade, he felt like he was cheated last week. He felt like that championship should be his. Oh no, Lokatano just flew. He just flew out of the ring. Andy Hatter. Andy Hatter is Iron Man his way, just like he said he would. We'll have to see if he can end it. I have to say, this has to be a 
record in the PBW Rumble. I don't think anyone has lasted as long as Andy Hedder has at this point. We're going to have to check our official stats. I will say, Andy Hedder and Killian have both been in this match for the same amount of time. Absolutely. Two Iron Men. Who will last the longest and who will prevail in this Royal Rumble? Absolutely. We have a double record right now. Whoever gets eliminated first, the other one will be that record holder for longest in this Rumble. Heads up. We're coming this way. Heads up. Six men left in the ring. Chris you know, Banks giving it to the bro, Bro Keller. Killian McMurphy still in this match, guys. That's it, folks. There's no one else coming out. What you see now is what you get. One of these men will become the number one contender. Oh, and look at Killian McMurphy raking well, the Danny nose Danny Moe shouting words of encouragement to Facade. I'm sorry, Charles. Action a mile a minute. Chris Banks plants Bro Keller. I will say it's not going to be easy to get Facade out of this rumble, all right? The best thing he knows in this ring are the ropes. Have you ever seen him walk those ropes, the tight rope? He flips off the ropes. So once you get him over there, it's going to be really difficult to get him over. Absolutely. You, it's like throwing Br'er Rabbit into the Briar Patch. It's where he, he was born and it's where he makes his living. Well, Killian McMurphy's ready. Pulling out the guns is the shooter. Oh, Banderas over. Oh, Andy Hedder, Hedder drilled him. How many eliminations is that for Hedder already? I don't know, but what it does mean is that he is the longest lasting man in this Royal Rumble. Look at Hedder, hold on. Unbelievable. Hedder's still in this one, he's still hanging on. Chris Banks. Look out! Chris Banks just threw Andy Hedder with authority over the top rope. And what an impressive performance from Andy Hedder. Absolutely. To be ashamed of there. Absolutely you an amazing performance by Andy Hedder. That is going to put him at a higher rank here in the heavyweight division at PPW, guaranteed. Well, guys, you're looking right now in each of the four corners at one of the men who will go in April to challenge for the PPW Heavyweight Championship. You gotta wonder, you talk so much about the accolades of Facade. You have to add in there the urgency that he needs to take on Clutch Adams. He wants this match, he wants this win so bad. The problem is, Deshaun Pratt's in there. Is he going to be able to control his emotions long enough to stay with it and win this title? Well, right now, Deshaun Pratt, oh, forming a tandem with Chris Banks, but Facade is not gonna hear any of that. Like you said, the passion, the fire that Facade has alongside him in this rumble, along with his supportive girlfriend. He has to be the favorite. He wants this more than anybody else, and that's what you need in this match. You need to want it more. Absolutely, that may be what it comes down to. Who wants it the most? Chris Banks debuting just a couple weeks ago in the final four here. You gotta be impressed with him as well, making the best of this opportunity. And the guys that he's in the ring with, nothing to sneeze at, guys. Oh, Banks out on the apron. Banks oh, blocks the be, right hand. Banks needs to get back in that ring. Very vulnerable position. He's He is on loose feet there, loose legs. Oh, look out. Look out, Facade. Danny Moe trying to keep Facade on that ring, trying to will him to stay up there. Adams, Facade on the apron. Banks trying to throw facade. He said he's done. Beautiful move by facade. And that's what we were talking about before. With the springboard kicks up Banks and Banks is eliminated. Charles, you talked about how facade lives on those ropes. We just saw a perfect example of that right now. Pay dividends. Absolutely. Banks was trying to back body drop him off of the, the apron and flipped right back into the ring. Bro Keller right on top of the weekend and tired facade. We have Bro Keller also has been in this one for a little while now. Bro Keller, a rising star here at PPW. 
making a lot of noise here in just a few short months he's been here. And Fasad looks like he's out, draped on the rope. Danny Moe yelling words of encouragement into her man. And we've got three. I will say, bro, Keller, any allegiance you have with Fasad is thrown out the window in a match like this. You gotta win. At the end of the day, you gotta win this Rumble to cement your place in history here at PPW. Bro Keller just ratted. Look out! Facade holding on. But he's not in that ring yet, guys. Facade just trying to catch his breath out for a moment there. Deshaun Pratt looked over at Facade, seen him in a vulnerable spot. Gonna try to take care of Keller first. On the table, Fasad avoiding elimination. That would be one of the in most our lap. things I've seen in my life. Oh my God. Fasad is not eliminated. He is on the table. How is Fasad getting back in Let's to this so. ring? Referee, is he eliminated? Is he eliminated? Referee, no. Referee indicating that he is. He's drinking the Red Bull. Oh, he's, he's going to get some wings. Let's see him fly. Facade right in front of us, and wait, what's he? Is Dan, Danny Moe is going to carry him to the ring? Facade's feet never touch the ground. They hit this table first. They hit the commentator booth. Just landing literally in my lap. These are the best seats in the Hasbro Ball. This is why I do this job. Wow. And Danny Moe is carrying Facade to the ring. Look at that. Now that is a girl right there that you want in your corner. Oh, she's bottom. a keeper, I'll tell you that. That is true love, carrying, We're gonna carrying find a woman Facade. Like that. And wait, Deshaun Pratt doesn't see. Deshaun Pratt thinks he won it. For Deshaun Pratt does not know Facade is still legal. Facade, up top, walking those ropes. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh. Facade! 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 Facade with a coast to coast to win the Royal Rumble. Guys, Facade is going to Super Show 3 in April. And who does he meet? He meets Clutch Adams. What an effort. What a successful showing by Facade. And you have to say, going into Super Show, with Delmi Axel by his side, this man could take it all the way. What an amazing match. Facade landing literally right in our lap, drinking some Red Bull and getting back in the ring to win this. My God. Guys, what more can you say, guys? Woo! I will say, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. You're never going to hear me say that, but boys, it was a pleasure Absolutely. doing commentary with you guys. I'm going to go to the back so I can shower champagne on facade so we can celebrate this victory. Sorry, Thank, the party. You. Thank you, Charles Mason. Guys, we're back next week. This has been PPNBI Bolt. We, we're going to stay with it. We are going up to Paul Bow. cash it in because I quite frankly cannot take any more action here tonight. PPW Nation on Saturday, February 15th, the countdown to Super Show 3 officially begins. See former WWE superstars, the Headbangers, as Mosh and Thrasher come to Holy Family Academy in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. See PPW stars, the Neon Ninja Facade, Clutch Adams, Deshaun Pratt, KC Navarro, and much, much more. Tickets are available right now at PPWWrestling.com.